It's your health. Many people, they've experienced it. Heartburn or its more serious form, GERD. And if untreated, it can lead to other health issues. Gastroenterologist Dr. Bradley Freilich of Research Medical Center is here to talk about an advanced procedure that can provide relief. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. So about one in five people in the U.S. have GERD. What is that? Well, it's actually more than that. About half the population has symptoms of acid reflux or some type of indigestion at some point in their life. I'd say about 20% of people have severe acid reflux, which is really simply the stomach contents that contain acid coming up your esophagus, and that can even come up into your throat and lead to symptoms most commonly of heartburn. Some people call it indigestion, but it can lead to all of these symptoms what we call laryngeal pharyngeal reflux, where people get a chronic cough or a feeling of a fullness in their throat or a sore throat. All of that can be from acid reflux. What should you do if you have those symptoms? So the best thing to do initially is to try to avoid the foods that cause the problems in the first place. There are a number of foods that lead to acid reflux, chocolate and coffee, um, peanuts, and smoked foods and tomato sauce are the most common things that people can avoid. And then there are over-the-counter acid reflux medicines that you can take for short periods of time. Now, there are treatments out there that can help. How do people with GERD, how does it help them, those treatments? The most common treatment, the most effective treatment are the stronger acid reflux medicines like Prilosec or Nexium or meprazole um, or esomeprazole, those are the generic names for them. Those are called propton pump inhibitors. They're very powerful, they work really well. But what we've learned over the last few years is those medicines have long-term problems. So how does this procedure, this new advancement work and who's a good candidate for it? So this new procedure is called a TIF. That's an acronym for a transoral incisionless fundoplication. It's an endoscopic technique where we go down with an endoscope into the stomach and we flip the scope around. We gather tissue together and we basically staple the, the tissue in a way with a little plastic tag. And almost all of the time, we do this in combination with fixing a hiatal hernia. Patients are seeing amazing results because the old form of a repair after the hiatal hernia was a fundoplication where you would wrap part of the stomach around the esophagus, and it would lead to problems of not being able to belch, not being able to vomit, and they break down after five years and people are back on their medications and they can lead to problems with swallowing. With this new procedure, we have data that shows it's durable for over 10 years, it's 90% successful, and you don't have any of those bloating symptoms or inability to vomit, and it's just an amazing breakthrough and how we're able to treat people with chronic reflux. Well, thank you, doctor. That sounds like an amazing advancement in medical technology. Thank you so much for joining us today. And for more stories just like this one, head over to our website, kctv5.com slash HCA Midwest.